Okay, well welcome to our practice here in Dallas, Texas. I have my wonderful patient Monique who is also our dental hygienist here at our office. And um, I, what I've done is I want to create a video for you that shows exactly step by step how I take an impression in my office. So to do a clear liner impression, we use the Invisalign only specific trays. The reason that we use these trays, one is that this handle fits directly into their scanner and the scanners can actually read through this plastic. So the very first step you're gonna do with this tray is you're gonna try it into your patient and make sure that it fits. A big no-no is having your patient dictate which tray size you're actually going to use. Because we all know that our patients think that they are a child size and they actually are a large. So, um, these trays are also heat moldable. So I can take a Bunsen burner, I can warm this up in hot water. Um, I can also carve on it with an acrylic burr if I need to for any tori uh, that might be present. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna walk over and we're gonna try this tray in to Monique. And you always do everything from behind your patient. So I'm gonna retract her lip with one finger and take my tray and slide it in the other side. We're gonna go all the way back and then raise this tray up. Now you can see that that fits very comfortably in Monique's mouth. I have plenty of room here. It's not sticking out too far and it's not scraping the front of her teeth. So I have a nice, fit. Her molars back in the back are not hanging outside of the tray. That's one thing you want to be careful of is that you don't want teeth back here. You want that tray to be long enough so that you're going to get a full coverage on those terminal molars. So we've tried in our upper and now we're going to try in our lower tray. And again, I'm going to retract my with one finger on one side, retract with the other and we're gonna try that tray in. Now, my patient is still staying open. I'm not having her bite down, and that fits very comfortably for her. So we'll slide that tray back out. Do you do not need adhesive on these trays because they are perforated. Um, the material will ooze out of those perforations and it will lock the material onto the tray. The material that we're gonna be using today is 3M's Imprint 4. Um, this is our light body, and then we have our putty in the Pinamix machine. This has a one minute working time, and it has a two minute set time. Always pay attention to those working times and set times. There's a reason that they have that there, and make sure that you're using that and setting a timer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and fill our tray, and I'll get this filled up, and then I'm gonna show you exactly how to make your little trough for your light body impression material. So we do not want to start and stop our Pinamix. We want to, once we've started it, we want to go ahead and fill the tray entirely. Never let go of your button while you're filling a tray. Even with a triple tray, you could, uh, when you let go of the button, it actually retracts the two tubes that it's pushing down on. And so then it has to kind of start back over. So always keep your finger on that button and let it fill your tray. Now we have our tray filled. In Invisalign Impressions, we do not need the palette. So now what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna roll my finger and I'm gonna create a trough. You can see I've got a nice trough created. I'm just gonna wrap the rest of this material over. I'm gonna create a little dam back here on the back side of the tray covering up all of my blue plastic. And this has given me plenty of room now to add my light body. So now we're going to add the light body, bleed the tip. And while I'm filling, I want to roll my tray and let gravity take its toll on this impression material. Always keep that tip buried in the material so you do not get any air bubbles coming to the mouth. I'm going to retract with one finger, retract the, the tray, and for this we are going to go straight up. So I have an index finger on each premolar, push, 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 and make sure that this lip is out and over. Then I can kind of massage my patient's cheek, get all of those little muscle freenums and tissue attachments in there. And now the patient is going to sit for two minutes because that is our set time. So I wanted you to take a look at my positioning and Monique's um, positioning as well. You'll see that her head is straight up. 
Um, I don't have my patient laid back when I slide this impression in. So she is straight up and I actually have her in a bit of a bear hug here and that is to stabilize her. Her head is nice and tight up against this headrest and she's not having to strain. She's completely relaxed and you can see that that positioning is key when getting a great impression. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna swing around and what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide our finger way back here to this back corner while taking the handle and kind of giving it a twist action. So I'm gonna pull down on the corner and twist. You'll see I broke the suction. We'll take that tray out and you can see here we have our impression. So the key here is we captured distal of our second molars. The terminal molar has to be captured in our impression and we follow that gingival margin all the way around. You can see we have a little tray show through right here. Um, so that would indicate that maybe I was a little bit slid over to her left side too far. Um, however, this is not going to affect the fit of our liner because we can still see two to three millimeters past the gingival margin. So you wanna trace the gingival margin around every single tooth and make sure that you've got that captured pristinely. We also wanna see all occlusal anatomy and all of our incisal anatomy. So this is a great upper impression that would be accepted by Invisalign. Okay, so you can see here, we've now filled our lower tray. What I'm going to do is start to create that little trough that we need for that light body. And again, this is the imprint four from 3M. This is their putty that you can get in the Pentamix machine. So there's no more mixing of the little balls of base and catalyst, which makes it really nice. And I'm just really making sure that I've pushed that material around those perforations, locking that material on. Now we're gonna grab our light body. And you can see, I'm gonna start here on my outside edge and let gravity pull that material around for me. Always keep that tip in the light body so you don't get any air bubbles. We'll go ahead and slide this in. Again, we're doing this from behind the patient. Retract with one cheek, retract with the tray on the other. Lift your tongue and stick it straight out for me. I'm gonna push down and now you can just relax your tongue. Now, you'll notice the position that I have Monique in again. Her head is pushed back into the headrest. She's sitting straight up. She's nice and relaxed and I have complete control over her jaw. So my thumbs are holding a steady pressure on the premolar area of her tray and my fingers are just rested comfortably right underneath her mandible. So at this point, if she needed to move, she would just, I would follow her, uh, but that tray would not be dislodged in any way. So we will allow this to set for two minutes and then we'll come back and see how it looks. Okay, so our timer has gone off. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come around to the front and the same action, we're gonna slide a finger back here on this back corner and do a twisting motion to lift this tray while all the while pushing on that back corner. And you can see here, here's our impression. Um, again, big thing is just making sure we capture those terminal molars, which you can see we have. And we have a nice clean gingival margin around every single tooth. So this is exactly what Invisalign is looking for, and this is what would be accepted. Um, there is uh, a good two to three millimeters, a gingival margin and the tissue past that, and we've got our terminal molars, our tray was appropriately sized, and our material has an adequate set. We have no tray show through, so this would be acceptable for a clear aligner impression.